I have heard of a land in a far away strand. Tis a beautiful home of the soul. But the rest of them he blinded. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. All right, and they're not blind forever. That's right. They're blind for a certain period of time, but remember, Israel is God's apple. Mm. Israel is the apple of God's eye. Man. And a lot of people talk bad about the Jews. <laughs> But there coming a day when you Gentile, amen, that missed the rapture, you will wish that you was a Jew. Mm. Praise the Lord. So I advise you to speak well of the Jews. The Bible said pray for the peace of what? Israel. Peace of Israel, the peace of Jerusalem, that there will be peace within her gates. Praise the Lord. And thank God for the Jews. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, amen, he is coming again. Is that right? The Lord is coming again, amen, as Paul said, the second time shall he appear without sin. Mm -hmm. uh, he left this earth without sin, and the same way he left, the same way he will return. As they said, this, they said uh, the angels said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Uh -huh. This same Jesus that is taken up from you, he will come back in like manner as you see him go. He didn't leave one way and coming back somewhere different. That's right. The only difference is he will not come and touch the earth. He will stop in the air. Right. Praise the Lord. That's Amen. the only change in regards to him coming back. But we want to go tonight to the book of Matthew chapter 24. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to ask Deacon Lee to start reading for us. Amen. And Jesus went out. And Jesus went out. And departed from the temple. And departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him. And his disciples came to him. For to show him the buildings of the temple. All right. The disciples then was traveling with Jesus. And they just came out from the temple. Mm -hmm. And the disciples came to him to show him. The buildings of the temple. The buildings of the temple. In other words, how beautiful the temple was. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. The temple that Herod the Great built for the Jews. Praise the Lord. So it was a beautiful temple. Now, you know when you see a beautiful house, amen, you might be driving along the lake. Sometimes you just pull your car over uh, and just admire uh, such a beautiful house. Yes. Praise the Lord. I remember a few years ago they had a show on TV they used to call Cribs, if I make no mistake. Uh, but different ones would show and welcome people into their houses, and they just have such beautiful houses. Amen. Praise the Lord. Five, seven, eight bedrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, four bathrooms. Right. Uh, a big kitchen and it looks so clean that nobody will probably never touch it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Uh, but people love looking at a wonderful building or a nice house. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So the disciples then was fascinated about the building and they want Jesus to pay attention to the building. Mm -hmm. All right, what did he say? Jesus said unto them. Jesus said unto them. See ye not. See ye not. All these things. All these things. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. There shall not be left here one stone. There another, shall not be left here one stone upon another. That shall not be thrown down. Now, I could imagine how the disciples have felt. They want Jesus to be, you know, same way as them looking at such a beautiful building. Mm -hmm. But Jesus wasn't caught up in what they were caught up in. Mm -hmm. uh, and whatever Jesus is caught up in or with, that's what I want to be caught up in or with. Amen. Uh, the disciples then was looking at the building and how beautiful it looked, but had no idea the building that they're looking at. Amen. In a few years, what will happen to that building? Down. Praise the Lord. And, and I want to say this. Every building uh, that God can set up is coming down. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if God set it up, it will stand. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I, I believe it was, if I make no mistake, Nicodemus. Uh, later on in the book of Acts, he said, if this thing be of God, mm -hmm. not, not Nicodemus, but Gamaliel. He said, if this thing be of God, it shall stand. That's right. But if it's not of God, it will come down. That's right. Anything that man erect, amen, it will come down. Amen. But there is one thing that will never come down. It's established. It will not return back to God. It will void. It will accomplish. And that is the right. word. Now, Jesus said, now, don't look upon this building. Mm -hmm. There shall not be left one stone upon another mm -hmm. that shall not be thrown down. Amen. All right, read it. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, as he sat 
on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately. The disciples then came to him privately. I love the disciples then. They just wait till Jesus would get by himself and they need a better understanding. They need a little bit more. He said, Jesus, mm -hmm. you got to explain some things to us a little bit more. Yes. Praise the Lord. Read. Saying, tell us. Saying, tell us. When shall these things be? When shall be the sign of thy coming. In other words, when is the temple going to fall down? Mm -hmm. When will it happen? Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly if the temple going to fall down, what does that mean? Yes, uh, does that mean the end of the world? So they ask him two questions. Mm -hmm. You understand? Tell us when shall these things be and, and what shall be the sign of thy coming. Alright, we want to go to one verse and then we're going to go switch over to St. Luke chapter number 21 verse 20. Alright, read the final and the end of the world. And the end of the world. So they knew back then uh, that there's a change will come. That's right, Bishop. Everything that they was looking at at that time, they realized that there will be a great change. That's right. Now, the world is not looking for this change. That's right. Uh, the world is caught up in their own affairs. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That's why, you understand, John said, love not the world. That's right. Neither the things that are in the world. Because all Flee, in other words, run uh, and don't 
you will look back. Mm -hmm. uh, but since the lot for some reason, mm -hmm. like many that used to be in the church, mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, what have they done? Look back. They look back. Uh, and when she looked back, what happened to her? Turned into a she of turned salt. into a pillar of salt. And the Lord Jesus spoke these words. Remember. Lot's wife. Uh, remember Lot's wife. And remember this now. No man having put his hands to the plow. And look back. And look back. Uh, he's not fit. Uh, he's not fit for the kingdom. If he's going to start serving the Lord mm -hmm. and then turn and look back. What are you looking back for? Man. Uh, the Lord deliver us. Uh, we've been translated from the kingdom of darkness yeah. into the kingdom of his dear son. Now we are in the kingdom of his son. Mm -hmm. We were brought out from darkness into light. Why should we look back? I look back. But many have looked back already. Mm -hmm. And you have seen the fruits of those that have looked back. But thank God there are some uh, that have obeyed the Lord. Uh, Lot obeyed God's voice. Mm -hmm. His daughters obeyed God. from the foundation of time. Amen, Bishop. Praise the Lord. All right, read then. For these be the days of vengeance. These be the day of vengeance. That all things, all things, which are written, which are written, may be fulfilled. All right. Everything that was written, it had to be fulfilled. Amen. Right. There was one man in the Bible, didn't you understand? He didn't feel worthy that scripture should be fulfilled. Because he looked at himself like, I am nothing. So one day, who is this man? Mm. John the Baptist. Yes, sir. One day he was baptized, and then he saw the Lord Jesus coming. Yeah. To be what? To be baptized of him. That's right. Uh, and when Jesus came to John, he said, John, baptized. you got to baptize me. I'm not worthy. Uh, uh. I got to go down also. Yes. Uh, because you understand, I'm coming from Adam also. That's right. He didn't come from heaven, you. He came from Adam. That's right. He's the last man, Adam. Mm -hmm. Not the second man. He's the last man. Yes, sir. Huh? The first man is of the earth, earthy, mm -hmm. but the second man is the Lord from heaven. But let me say this now. He wasn't in heaven. No, sir. Huh? If Jesus was in heaven, then there'd be no need for 42 generations. Amen. And why would he tell David from, you understand, when you're dead and buried, sleeping with your father, I'm going to raise up your seed from your own power. If he was already in heaven, why does he need to be coming from David? Why do you need David's seed? You all think something wrong with me? No, sir. No. Mr. You're talking right. No, the book is right. Man, plain. Uh, it's just plain, you understand? But the natural man and man understand it, not the things that be of God, mm -hmm. because the things of God must be what? Spiritually yes, discerned. You got to discern it by the Spirit of God. That's it. Only way. Read. But woe unto them. Woe unto them. That are with child. That are with child. And to them that give suck. And to them that give suck. In those days. In those days. For there shall be great distress. There shall be great distress. Everyone in the land, in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. uh, those that have children and infants at that time. It will be a time of great distress. In the land. In the land. Read. And wrath upon this people. And wrath upon this people. They shall fall by the edge of the they sword. They shall fall by the edge of the sword. Shall be led away captive. They shall be led away captive. Into all nations. Into all nations. And Jerusalem. And Jerusalem. Shall be trodden down. Shall be trodden down. Of the Gentiles. Of the Gentiles. You see who came against them? It wasn't Jews against Jews. Man. But it was Gentiles that came and besieged the city. Amen. All right, read. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. There shall be signs in the sun. All right, we want to say right here. That's moving into a second phase. One scripture, but many phases and different times of events that need to be occurred. Amen. Now, what happened to the Jews' temple? Praise the Lord. Now, I want to explain this. Now, I'm speaking from the background of history. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, the temple of Jerusalem was overthrown by the Rome, Romans mm -hmm. in 70 AD. Now, the Jews that was in the city, they revolted.
resulted in 66 All right. against the Roman rule. When they decided to rebel against the Roman rule, at that time, Emperor Nero was the one in charge. Amen. So what he did now, he sent one of his generals by the name of Vespasian, mm -hmm. if I pronounce his name right. He was the general that Nero sent to conquer the rebellion. All right. Now when Vespasian got there, uh, within two years, now it didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It took time. Now after now in 68, Emperor Nero died. Mm -hmm. How did he die? Uh, suicide. Mm -hmm. He committed suicide. After he committed suicide, now you know you got all these other generals mm -hmm. and it become what? A power struggle. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this person is vowing for the position, mm -hmm. that person is vowing for the position. Mm -hmm. Ain't no different than when Alexander the Great died, his four generals began to wrestle Man. Uh, for position, for territory. Yeah. So now the Roman, I understand, organization was in a disarray. Mm -hmm. uh, but somewhere, somehow, the people decided to choose Vespasian. All right. All right, but he was already away. So when the news got to him now, he had to leave. Mm. Uh, he got to go back to Rome because he has been chosen to be the new leader because now Nero is dead and Nero is gone. Right. So now who took over after he leave? His son by the name of Titus. And Titus continued. Uh, that way, Vespasian was given order to come against Jerusalem. So I believe there was a break in there where that part had to be fulfilled. Right. Some of them was able to escape. But some of them stayed in the city. Mm -hmm. Now, if some of them did not escape, then Jesus told a lie. That's right, Bishop. Jesus said, flee. Flee. Uh, flee. Some of you need to flee. Get out when you can. When you see these signs, mm -hmm. get out of it. But guess what happened? Titus was able to conquer Jerusalem, was able to put the rebellion down. Mm -hmm. Many of the Jews that was in Jerusalem, many of them were sold as slaves. Wow. Many of them was put in a ring uh, to make mock and fun of. Mm -hmm. And some of them was placed in Egypt where they began to serve as farmers. Uh, but God always promised that Israel was going to suffer. Yes. Now, Jerusalem has always been a city uh, that God allowed many times to be attacked by the enemies. Why? Because of the disobedience right. of the children of Israel. Right. So this is how and this is what happened that caused the temple to fall down and be destroyed by the Gentiles. And the Gentiles were known as the Roman army, praise the Lord, that destroyed Jerusalem. Right. So Titus was the one. I just wanted to bring that in to give you a history. Man. To let you know how the temple fell down yeah. and what happened to the temple. Now, let me say this. Jesus said it and it did happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He didn't tell a lie. No, sir. Praise the Lord. So now, once Jerusalem was conquered by the Roman army, later on, we're going to get into all of this. You'll find out that later on, even Rome itself was conquered mm. Mm, by many factions. The barbarians, uh, different factions conquered Rome. Uh, and Rome was split into two under Constantine. All right. uh, but we don't want to get ahead of that now. I want to stick a little bit, you understand, in regards to the catching away of the church. Amen. Now, the Lord Jesus spoke something. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. He told us of a parable. I'm going to ask Deacon Malone to get it. There in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse number 1. Then I'm going to ask Deacon Lee to get me, praise the Lord. Matthew, chapter number 7, and then we'll close out for this segment. All right, Matthew, chapter 25, verse number 1. And Deacon Lee, please get me, amen. Matthew, chapter number 7. Amen. Straight is the gate, narrow is the way. Amen. We're going to start at that verse. All right, Matthew 25, Deacon Malone, verse number 1. All right, let's go. Praise the Lord. Then shall the kingdom of heaven. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Be likened unto ten virgins. Now, chapter twenty-four have continued into chapter twenty-five. 
Still dealing with the coming uh, of the Lord, and Jesus now will give them a parable. He always spoke in parable because there's a scripture that said, in parable shall the Lord speak. Mm -hmm. So even that scripture was fulfilled. Because Jesus spoke in many parables because the Bible said he will speak in parables. All right, read. Which took their lamps. Which took their lamps, ten virgins that took their lamps. And went forth to meet the bride. They went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise. Five of them were wise. And five were foolish. And five were foolish. So you got wise. Mm -hmm. And you got foolish. Yes, sir, Bishop. Now he's giving you an example of the church. <laughs> In the body of Christ, you got wise. Mm -hmm. You got some fools. Amen. You got some goats. Mm -hmm. And you got some sheep. You got wheat, mm -hmm. and you got tears right in the body of Christ. And guess who know all of them? Uh, the Lord Jesus knows, and God knows. He knows who's wheat, uh, and he knows who's tear. He knows who the goats are from the sheep. Because uh, every sheep of Jesus know his voice. And a stranger, they don't follow, but a goat always bucking. You know what the signs of a goat is? Disobedience. Pride. Uh, they ain't going to do what you tell them to do. Uh, even with the, um, the wheat and the tares. The tares look like wheat, but they ain't wheat. Mm -hmm. uh, so the man said, now shall we? You understand? Who, who did this? The man said, the enemy so bad seen in the field. Mm -hmm. They said, now should we go and uproot them? Mm -hmm. No, he said, don't do it because you ain't skilled enough. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, when I come, I will do the what? Separate. I'll do the separation. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks look like Christians.
That because Jesus will come one day. I'm not saying he's coming. Because I, I don't know if he left heaven. Mm -hmm. Only God knows that. But I'm going to say on record, he will come. Because mm -hmm. somebody said, we've been preaching, say he's been coming and he didn't show up yet. I, I thought about that. I said, well, what I'm going to say is, he is coming. He will come one day. Yeah, right. uh, and I'm in the book when I say he will come one day. Because that's, right. that's up to God. All right, read it. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. The wise took oil in their vessel with, with their, their lamps. lamps. Mm -hmm. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. They all slumbered and slept. While the bridegroom tarried, mm -hmm. they all slumbered and slept. All right, so the wise slept mm -hmm. and slumbered and the fool did. So all ten of them did. Yes, sir. You would think the wise would know not to go to sleep. Sometimes even young say why says, huh? Laps. Mm -hmm. Huh? Or the foolish should get up and find them some oil. You think the foolish would know that, but that's why they call fools. <laughs> <laughs> How will a fool think like a wise? Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Praise the Lord, a fool will speak like a fool and act like a fool. And a wise gonna act like a wife, but sometimes the wise be wanna act like a fool. Mm -hmm. Relax. Walk me unto them that are what? And ease in Zion. You that are in the body of Christ, don't relax. Don't get weary. Uh, in well doing. Don't be weary in well doing. Uh, you will reap. Uh, if you faint not, don't faint. You wise, stay alert. Amen. All right, read. And at midnight, at midnight, there was a cry made. There will be a cry made. Mm -hmm. uh, at midnight. Praise the Lord. So somebody said, will Jesus come at midnight? I don't know. He's just giving a parable. Mm -hmm. At midnight, there was a cry made because he don't even know when he's coming. That's right. He don't know. So I'm not going to tell you what time he's coming. That's right. The only thing I'm going to tell you, please be ready. And that's my desire to be ready. And I want to stay ready. I'm not trying to get ready. No, sir. That trying business got to get out the door. Is either you're ready or you're not. That's right. Is either you are in the body of Christ or you're not. Be also ready. Thank you. Be ready. Mm -hmm. Or you get ready, the book, obey the book, and you'll never go wrong when you obey the book. Read it, come along. There was a cry made. There was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom coming. Behold, the bridegroom coming. Go ye out to meet him. Go ye out to meet him. You know the wife got to come and meet the bridegroom. Uh, when you were standing up here waiting, young son, was you waiting for the wind to come? Oh, no, sir, Bishop. For sure. He's done that one. Oh, waiting Lord, have mercy. Huh? Waiting, wait, waiting for the bride to come. Here. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Huh? Everybody in attendance. Yeah. You know most weddings out that they don't really don't care much about us grooms. No. <laughs> you know most people show up to see? The bride. The bride. Yeah. Uh, and then you always have some haters in the crowd. Your haters just show up to see. You know what I'm saying? Well, she don't deserve him. Uh, that should have been my man. Why is she wearing that dress? Oh, they need to sit up in a corner. If you got all that to say, you should have just sit home in your living room. Praise the Lord. Now, nah, just because they didn't choose to marry you, you find somebody else. Stay in the Lord. The Lord will give you somebody. But you're always going to have people showing up trying to scrutinize mm -hmm. and got a whole lot to say. Yes. And sometimes the folks that got a lot to say, they ain't got no type of life. None at all. Their life is such a mess, but they want to scope you out. Yeah. Go sweep around your own front door. Clean up your own life first before you come examining somebody else. Jealousy. That's right, jealousy. That should have been my man. I don't know why he decided to marry you. You ain't all that. Mm. You all be looking thin. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But just said, beauty's on the inside. Amen. Sometimes you marry a beautiful one or a handsome one, and they turn out to be the pure old devil. Uh, but you can marry a not so attractive person. But guess what? They love the Lord. Amen. Uh, and that's all that matters. Best that they love God. Amen. Because if they love God, oh Lord, you ain't got no problem. All right, Jesus, let's move on. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. And all those virgins grow. All Virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the, the wise, foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. Give us some of your holy ghost. You hear the fool talking? Mm -hmm. Give me some of your holy ghost. Mm -hmm. What did the wise say, D? Foolish said, For our lamps are gone out. Our lamp is what? Our lamp is gone out. Mm -hmm. And 
the wise answered, saying, Not so. Not so. Least there be not enough of, for us and you. We don't have enough for us and you. Listen, I need all my Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I ain't got my Holy Ghost is for me, not to be sharing it with you. Uh -huh. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost appeared and it does that sat on each and every one of them. Right. And it sat upon and tell that one, give them some of yours. No, don't share the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost come and he abides in you, he abides in me. He abides in you. I, I, I need a hundred percent of the Holy Ghost every day. Oh my! Praise the Lord, because this Adamic nature is a bad dude. Praise the Lord, and you need that Holy Ghost to help you. Uh, and even the Holy Ghost don't make you live right. It don't make you walk right. Uh, you have a desire to walk right and live right. The Holy Ghost will keep you according to your desire. He will lead you and guide you in the what? In the all truth. So I. you do? Well, go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. Go and buy for yourself. All right. Go and do what? Buy for yourself. We'll close out here. Go and buy for yourself. Amen. We have to let you go. But the Lord said the same. We will be back. Praise the Lord. And we'll pick up. Amen. Where we left off this evening. So God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. We're praying for you. In Jesus' name. Amen.